I am here with Brandon Vietti, the executive producer of LEGO DC Superheroes, Aquaman, Rage of Atlantis. Um, we've seen some other movies focused on different characters. We had the Flash one, we have Aquaman now. Can we expect to see more moving forward? I think so. I think if we keep, you know, getting a good response on these movies as we have been, we'll keep making more. And it is nice to be able to spotlight, you know, different characters and actually introduce a younger audience to new characters they may not, might not be so familiar with. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you have a personal history with Lego, the toy or the brand? Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, I grew up with Lego bricks, of course. I, I had, you know, lots of, like, I remember I had, like, a motorized one that, you know, you could put little batteries in it and, like, it would roll around and stuff. And I liked building different shapes on top of that. Um, of course, it's Lego, uh, you know, has the DC Universe now, which I think makes Lego, like, a thousand times even more appealing to, like, if they had DC Legos when I was a kid, yeah. like I would have never stopped playing with Legos. Right? Yeah, 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 it's true. I probably even like you know tried to you know build fake you know superheroes and stuff because they didn't quite the, the minifig thing wasn't quite as big as it was back then as it is now. So I remember you know probably trying to build like you know vehicles mm -hmm. that were like in my favorite animated shows and stuff. But yeah, now we've got the the minifigs and. You know, great, great toys that spin out of these movies, too. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. kids have it easy today. So easy. <laughs> so easy. Um, we have Atrocitus as the big bad in this one, who's yeah. not commonly thought of as an Aquaman villain. So no. where did that come from? <laughs> you know, um, we have, like, a lot of fun with DC and with Lego. We get together in a room, and I swear to you, it is just like when you're a kid and you go to your friend's house and your friend has toys and you bring toys and another friend comes over with toys mm -hmm. and everybody brings their toys together and you just kind of jam and make a story. And it's very much what, like what it is uh, working with Lego and working with DC is everybody kind of brings to the table sort of an idea of what characters they want to work with and what kind of story they might want to mm -hmm. see. And that's really where it starts. And you get really interesting mashups like this, where like like you just said, whoever thought Aquaman would cross over with Atrocitus, yeah, yeah. a Red Lantern, um, yeah. It, yeah. So it's amazing and a lot of fun for us then to go figure that story out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I greatly enjoy watching these movies with my uh, niece and nephew, and then seeing my nephew consequently take out his Legos of said movie and start reenacting scenes. So. If you keep making them, I'll keep watching them. Awesome. That's great. I would like hearing that. That's a, something I think is really important to us is actually bringing family together uh, to watch these things. We, we don't want this to be just for kids, and we don't want it to be just goofy jokes all over the place. There's a lot of goofy humor, but, you know, we also try to get into this, like, good heartfelt moments, good, you know, lessons for kids. And I'll, uh, we pack in as much of our, our geek knowledge about the DC yeah. Universe as possible because we know there's a, a lot of um, older fans now that, have kids of their own that might be sitting on the couch watching these movies with them and we want like really cool moments in there that they're gonna get and maybe the kids won't get them but you know we've got some easter eggs in there but the older fans are gonna uh, immediately spot yeah. and love and oh, know yeah. that there's fans making these movies oh, yeah. that's my favorite part of the movies all the little meta jokes that are squeezed in there yeah. so good we try yeah it's fun for us <laughs> awesome thank you so much yeah. i look forward to aquaman rage of atlantis uh coming july 31st 2018.